Hello class, welcome back to our next lesson. In this lesson, we are actually going to be combining several of the lessons that we taught previously into one to make a very neat optical illusion with high contrast artwork. So if you remember back to line, we actually used a ruler and a drawing of your hand to make it look like it was standing up off the paper. If you remember shape, we also tore out different shapes and glued them down to create an artwork that used both organic and geometric shapes. And finally, we also looked at color and how color could be used to feelings in your artwork or emotions through color. So what we're going to be doing today is combining all those things together to make a optical illusion artwork. So what you're going to need. You're going to need a ruler, you're going to need a pencil, and as an optional bonus, you can use crayons or markers or something to color with. Now, if you don't want to color this artwork, if you just want to leave it black and white, that's perfectly fine. All you would need is a pencil. So what we're going to start off by doing, I'm going to need you to go ahead and put a half inch mark from the beginning of your paper all the way down to the end of the paper, on all four sides. So this is very similar to what we did whenever we drew our hands. So go ahead and make your tick marks every half inch starting from the top of the paper working all the way down and then do that on all four sides. Okay, now that you have your tick marks drawn on all four sides, what you're going to do now is you are going to draw images in here and you just want the silhouette or the outline. So just like we did with our hand, you just want the outline of whatever you're drawing in here. You can either draw it out freehand or you can trace your objects like this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trace a few of these just so we can see them. So I'm going to open this up and trace this. Okay, so there we have our objects traced over. So what we're going to do now, we are going to take our ruler and we're going to connect all the tick marks that we made before. So we need to connect the tick marks from the top of the paper down to the bottom and from the left to the right. And whenever we do this, we are going to draw a line straight through the objects. So I'm going to line up my ruler, go make sure that the lines are lined up and then I'm going to go ahead and draw the line. Okay, now that we have our lines drawn on here, this is where we start coloring in our shapes and creating the illusion that things are popping out at us. So what I want you to do, if you're going to be using crayons and you want to use colors or coloring pencils or markers or anything like that, I want you to pick out a color that makes you happy. So for instance, I really like the color green. So I'm going to pick out this crayon, if I can get it out of the box. I'm going to pick out this crayon right here that's green. And what I'm going to do, I am going to fill in, starting up here at the top square, the first square with the color green. And then I'm going to skip a square and fill in the next square with green. And I'm going to do this all the way down. Now when I get over to the next line, I'm going to 
skip the block again. So since this one is green, I'm going to leave this block right here that's right next to it white. That way there are no green squares touching any other green squares on the four sides. When I get to a square that has part of my object in there, I'm actually going to leave that empty for now. So I'm just going to color around the object like this. And then I'm going to continue through the rest. Okay, so right now I have, I would say, about a quarter of the artwork covered in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to still take my green crayon, and now I'm going to fill in the opposite square inside of my shapes. So what that means, this right here, this is a green square, and it's halfway passing into my shape. Well, I'm going to leave this square white for now, and instead I'm going to jump over here, at the opposite square and I'm going to fill that color in green. So now it's a flip-flopping of colors inside of your shapes. So go ahead and fill in your colors like that. Here and this one right here would be a color. Now go ahead, fill in your colors where inside the object, the colors are reversed. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we have our greens filled in, you can start to see how the optical illusion is working. And the next color that we're going to have in, I want you to pick a color that makes you angry or makes you sad. For instance, this color right here, the green, I chose because green is the color that makes me happy because I really like green. And whenever I think of mad or angry, I think of red. And those two colors are different. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put red down here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill in every single square that I left white with the color red. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, and as you can see, what you're left with is an artwork that will actually have the objects, like this a circle right here, that stands up off the paper because of the contrasting colors, where the colors are going back and forth. It's almost like it's a background and a foreground, so it makes the object stand out. This is why it is an optical illusion. It really makes the objects pop, and you didn't really do anything special to it. You just kind of swap the colors around. So this is your assignment. This is what you're going to be doing for today and the next day. I want you to try to get some objects, either draw them on there, just a silhouette or the outline of it, or you can trace some objects, grid out your paper with every half inch, just like we did right here. And then I want you to try to color it or just use black and white with your pencil. And if you notice, I left a lot of white areas in this artwork. And that's because this is a demonstration. This was an example. On your artwork, I want you to try to fill in those empty spaces because if you have white spaces left over, it doesn't really do the optical illusion justice. It kind of makes it look sloppy and not very well done like this right here. When you fill in all the colors, it's going to make it pop and stand out a lot more than this. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. If you have a question, leave a comment down below. If you are not one of my students and you would like to continue with our class, go ahead, subscribe to our channel. I'm going to be trying to upload all of our lessons in the next couple weeks. And if you'd like to stick around and join us, Go ahead, subscribe to us. That way you'll be notified of all the new lessons going up. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.